All right, what's up, everybody? God bless. It's your boy Dwell once again, and today what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna bring up this topic about uh, work boots. You know, I'm in the construction field. I'm a carpenter, a wood framer, so, and I kind of looked around, didn't really find much about uh, basically the opinion of a carpenter or a construction worker on work boots. So that's my topic for today. Hope you guys like it. Um, before I start, I go by the name Dwell, just if all you are wondering. That's what I go by as my MC name, you know, when I was younger, when I used to hang out with my boys, you know, in the streets, that's what they used to call me, Dwell. And to this day, a lot of my close friends still call me Dwell, so I go by the name Dwell mainly for my, for my MC name, you know, when I spit. I have some, some tracks on my page, so... Feel free to check them out. They're a little older. I haven't brought up new things, but uh, yeah, feel free to check them out. <clears throat> like I said, I'm a, just trying to make this a, like a fast video. I'm not a professional on shoes, boots, whatever. I don't make them. I'm just going to give my opinion. You know, I've been in the field since I started basically like around 17 or 18. I'm a little older now. And one thing in the construction field that is always invested on you always waste money on our boots depends what kind of boots you get it can be every four months six months or a year i don't know depending what brand you know when i started i started as a painter i was a painter i still paint you know i just don't work for a company i do my side jobs here and there people call me up i'll paint their house so there you go hit me up um but i did a commercial painting for a long time so they required you to wear boots safety gear hard hat safety vest, and when I, you know, they didn't really explain to me what kind of boots to wear. I would always get high heel, um, I mean, boots with, with the heels, you know, and uh, I would always get them like at a warehouse, Big Five, um, other spots. I never bought the most expensive brand. It would be like 30, 40 bucks, but those shoes would always rip from the sole, you know, they would rip fast from the, from the toe or whatever, the heel would fall off. Just et cetera, et cetera, you know, and, and as time started, so I started seeing, you know, I said, I really got to start investing on some boots. I didn't really start paying attention to that till I became a wood framer, you know. One thing they told me was buy shoes that do not have a, a heel. And the reason why is because sometimes you're walking in the, in the roofs and you don't want that heel to get caught on a nail or any debris or something that can kind of hold you from tripping, um, make you trip or something. So, so eventually I started buying diehards because those are the most popular ones that I would see most economic. One thing about those shoes, those boots, they're good, they're sturdy, they're pretty rough on the leather. But after a while of of using them, maybe bought like two or three pairs of the diehard six inch shirt track. I mean. You, they, you would be able to get them at Sears for like regular price, 100 something. But I would always get them when they would drop to like 50 or 60. But those boots would always, uh, eventually I noticed I would get my foot would get real tired, real tired. And I would always buy them too, non-steel toe. So I'll go to that. I'll, I'll get to that soon. But uh, yeah, those shoes would always... You know, eventually I started saying, man, these shoes are getting, these boots are getting me tired. My legs tired. So, you know, I started saying, you know what, I'm on best. I might pay a little more, but I'm on best on something else. So the next boot I bought, eventually, a couple years into it, I bought the Die Hard 6-inch leather soft toe boot, which was good and comfortable. But eventually, I did not buy a steel toe one. So, <clears throat> with time, it had those little... Those little hooks that you tie around it and those hooks would break off because I like my shoes tight. You have to have them tight, you know. They're good, they're good and rough, you know, for the dirt, etc. etc. But for me, I just didn't like them because uh they were heavy, they would get me tired, and on top of that, they weren't steel toed. So me being a wood framer, I'm working with a lot of heavy stuff. So I kept thinking I'm gonna buy some steel toes 
But eventually I said, I'm going to kick it up a notch. So I got these pairs. I actually got these pairs. I bought the Die Hard Chuka. This is how they look. They look nice. They're light. I actually like these. The Die Hard Chuka. They're a little dirty. I had them for a couple years. I really like them because they're light. I could tie them and they fit perfect. They're nice shoes. But one thing I don't like, the sole went out like in a month or two. On my job, the sole went out like in a month or two. And one thing I could say, these are, I mean, they're work boots. But they're real light. You know, you could feel anything. They're not steel toe, so they're they're kind of not as rough as the shirt tracks. That's what I'm gonna say. They're they're not as rough as the shirt tracks. The shirt tracks are the ones that are a little square with those little knits right here. Same brand, Die Hard. I mean, these are cool. Honestly, I personally would buy these like for Sunday shoes. You know what I mean? Hanging out at the house, working at the house. You know, they're real nice dressing shoes too. When they're brand new, they look like nice leather. I bought these, the Chuka. From my opinion, they're nice shoes. They're light shoes, but look at that. If I'm walking on the roof with a good, nice pitch or some dust, you know. This is boots that I started buying. They don't have a heel. If you notice, they don't have a heel. But that's what I didn't like, and I was scared, so I stopped using them. If I for sure knew I was on the roof, I wouldn't even put them on after I noticed they started going down. They're light and they're tight. They're, you can even jump around in these. But, you know, the other diehards, like I said, the shirt track and the leather soft toe, they were too heavy on me. I don't know. I couldn't. After a while, they would hurt my toes, my heels, just pressure. I felt pressure all the way even to my back sometimes. So I said, you know what? After these, I said, these were more expensive. These were like on the $80 tip. They're good shoes, like I said, but... So then, I said, you know what? I got to go up another notch. You can get these at Sears, by the way. That's where I got them at. I went to Sears again. You know, like I said, I'm not a man or a person that always, like, wants to buy the most expensive things as long as they're comfortable. But as you can see, these aren't that pricey. These were a little bit more pricey, but I would try to save my money on the, on the Die Hard shirt tracks. And after that, I just couldn't, you know, I said... They're a little bit too late. So I went for the, I went to Sears, shopped around, see what shoes I can get. And I said, I'm going to try these. The DeWalt Camdens. These were a little bit more expensive. This is years later. You know, this is years later. I just got these like maybe six months ago. I've been in construction. I just switched to these. You know, five years into it, I wore diehards. This is the first pair I switched to uh before diehards, I would use cheaper brands, but like I said, they would rip. The diehards are more durable. They really are. They last a couple months longer, depending what you, how much you use them and what you use them for. I like these a lot. They're real durable, real tough. They're steel toes. I switched to steel toes for sure after this one because a piece of plywood fell on my toes, and it was painful. They turned black. I thought I had broken them. So after that, after thinking so much, I'm going to switch to steel toes. I finally did. For safety purposes, steel toes. Something falls, I'm a little safer. These are real durable shoes, real rough, real light. As you can see, they don't have a heel. The grip hasn't finished. It's like a rubber grip. They're real nice boots. I like them. The only thing that gets to me is that no matter what knot or how tight, they get loose. No matter how tight or what knot I do to these, 30 minutes into working, they get loose and that's why they feel heavy. But once I tie them, I feel I could even run with them. They're nice, I like them, durable. I recommend them. The only thing I don't like is uh, that they get loose. So me personally, I'm looking for a boot that's light, durable, safe to use, you know, just in case something falls on me. I step on a nail. Sometimes on this one, a nail, I'll step on a nail, it'll go through. On these, I haven't stepped on one yet. I work, like I said, I'm a wood framer. There's nails everywhere sometimes. You don't even notice, you'll step on something sharp. 
Luckily, I haven't, nothing's happened with these. The diehards, the shirt tracks, like I said, they're more durable. I've stepped on nails and they don't go through, not all the time at least, depending how big of a nail you step on. But sometimes you feel it enough to where you know you're gonna, you're, something's going in through you real fast and you pull it out. It stops right on time. So that's what's good about those diehards, the shirt tracks. These for sure, a nail will go on, on the chukas. Like I said, they're nice shoes, but me, I'm looking for a shoe that's going to save my toes, you know, be light. This is my opinion as a framer. Boots with uh, no heel. Like I said, you don't want to get caught in the roof, in the nail on the roof. Sometimes when you're framing, there's nails everywhere, like I said, sticking out. So I recommend for sure, me personally as a framer, some light, durable, tough shoes that obviously you want to tie them right. Six inch, these are, I don't know, I think they're six inch. I'm not an expert, but usually like the shirt tracks were six inch. So I'm guessing these are about six inch, you know, right here on your, this is what I'm talking about, six inch. That way you could tie them. Maybe this one isn't, that's why I can't tie it like that. These, the chukas. The, and all the DeWalt and all the other diehards I use, the shirt tracks and the soft toe leather. The leather ones are, are, are round. They look kind of like this one, but they're more stronger. The soft toe leather. They have like a round right here toe. So what I did just two days ago, I bought me some new. I was recommended. They're more pricey. I haven't worn them yet. I just bought them, you know, they're more pricey. These cost me $200, $200. I went from $30 shoes to $60, $70 shoes, which are the diehards. The other brands, I don't remember, 30, 40. I don't know. They were like basically cheapy brands that you can get at Warehouse, Big Five. Nothing wrong with those stores, you know, nothing wrong with those stores. It's just the brand, the type of shoe, like I said. Then I went to... Like I said, I switched up to Die Hard, and it was good. Um, switched up to Die Hard, 60, 70 bucks. Then I went for these. Like I said, the only reason I don't, I switched shoes, I bought the, the ones I'm gonna show you right now is because they untie real fast. These are good shoes, I like them, they just untie no matter what not I do. And these were like $100, the Camden DeWalt. Like I said, the, the chukas were like 70, 80 bucks. Now these, I bought some Thorough Goods. Now as you can see, I still got the, they look like the diehards. The diehards, the, the shirt track have this. This is what you probably typically see, but these are American made. I was recommended. I haven't tried them on yet for work. They're light. They have a steel toe. As you can see, they're flat. And they have good grip so far. They told me, I was told by my coworkers that have these, that they're good, reliable shoes. So I haven't tried them yet, you know. Thorough goods, like I said, I went, I'm a framer. I try to be safe, safety first. You gotta work comfortable. That's one thing I'm learning still in the trade, you always learn something new. So I, I'm like, you know what, I gotta invest, invest, invest. So I invested in more expensive boots. Hopefully these are the good ones, but as a recommendation to all you guys, invest in, 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 in your work, in your tools, in your boots, especially your boots because you're walking all day, you know, you're walking all day, make your job easier, try not to get too tired. Hopefully these shoes help me out on my back, my foot, and they're not too heavy. You can see these are higher than these. You can even see that right away, look at that. The heel is right here. So maybe I could tie them better. They told me they're good. But like I said, $200. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm no pro in shoes. Just a little review. My thoughts. And uh, stay strong. Keep it up. God bless. You know, like and subscribe. Peace.